Want to keep your projects organized, but your wallet is giving you a cold reaction? Well, don't worry, because today I'm going to show you the top six free project management tools that work incredibly well with most projects. And links to all of this software is in the description below, so you can try whichever one you like. All right, covering in descending order, at number six, we've got Rike. Rike is a powerful project management tool often used by big companies, but the good news is it still offers a pretty solid free version for smaller teams. What I personally like is how simple it is to use. Your tasks are organized into folders and projects, which makes it super easy to stay on top of everything. You get unlimited tasks and projects right out of the gate. Huge win! You can assign tasks, set deadlines, and track progress in real time. The free plan even gives you 2 gigabytes of storage, which is more than enough for storing related files and documents. Now, just a heads up, there are a few limitations in the free version, which is fair because, hey, it's free. You won't get advanced stuff like budgeting tools, resource management, or workflow automation. Those are reserved for the paid plans, starting with the professional plan. Also, the free version is limited to just 5 users, so if you've got a bigger team, this might not be the one for you. But for solo workers or small teams that just need the basics, with a little flexibility, Reich's free plan is a pretty great place to start. It's got unlimited tasks and projects, plus real-time collaboration tools, all for free and without overwhelming you with complex features you might not need yet. And next, we have something for the techies in the house, the one at number 5, Jira. Jira is actually built for software teams, developers, testers, DevOps folks, so if you're in the tech world, you're going to love it. In Jira, tasks are called issues, so whether it's fixing a bug, launching a new feature, or just updating something, you create an issue, assign it to someone, and track its progress. Simple. Now, don't let that developer angle scare you off. Even if you're not a hardcore tech person, Jira still gives you a solid set of features for free, like you can create unlimited projects, and there's no limit to how many tasks you want to add. Plus, up to 10 people can use the free plan, which is perfect for small teams or even startup squads. One thing I really liked is how you can view your tasks in five different ways. There's a board view, time timeline, list, calendar, and even a quick summary page. So whether you're the visual type or more of a checklist person, you'll find a view that works for you. And Jira also gives you automation in the free plan. Yep, so let's say when a task is marked done, you want an email sent or another task to start automatically. You just set a rule and boom, it happens. And yeah, you get two gigs of storage space, which should be more than enough for most teams just starting out. Now, I'll be honest, Jira isn't the easiest tool to learn on day one. It's powerful, no doubt, but there's a bit of a learning curve, so if you've never used this kind of software before, it might take a little time to get used to how everything works. And there are a few things you don't get on the free plan, like advanced reports, project archiving, or bigger automation limits. Plus, permission settings are basic, so if you've got a huge team and need complex roles and controls, you might outgrow the free version eventually. But if you're handling code-based projects or run a small tech team, this is hands down one of the best free options. All right, moving on to number four, Asana. Now, this one's actually used by some pretty big names. We're talking about Spotify, NASA, the New York Times, even Google. So clearly, it's doing something right. But even if you're not launching rockets or building the next hit app, Asana can still be super useful. What I really like about it is how clean and smooth everything feels. The interface is colorful without being overwhelming, and navigating through your projects just feels easy. You don't really have to dig around to find stuff. You've got three main views to choose from, list, board, and calendar. Want that classic to-do list? Go list. More of a visual planner? Switch to board. Want to see what's due when? Calendar is your friend. Setting recurring tasks is super easy too. Daily stand-ups, monthly reports, birthday reminders, just set it once and it loops automatically. And if you're already using tools like Slack, Google Drive, or Microsoft 365, Asana connects with all of them. There are over 100 integrations, so it fits right into your workflow. Now here's the deal. There's a 10 user limit, but you can still assign tasks to as many people as you want. So even if someone's not officially added to your team, you can keep them in the loop. Sure, you don't get automation or those smart AI features unless you upgrade, like auto-moving tasks or getting summaries generated for you, but for most basic projects, you won't even miss those, especially if you're just starting out. But overall, if you're looking for something that's easy to use, looks nice, and keeps your teams organized without too much hassle, Asana is a great pick. Sliding into third place, we've got Trello. Now Trello, this one's honestly one of the most intuitive tools I've come across. I mean, it's famous for that Kanban-style layout, and once you start using it, you'll get why. The whole system of boards, lists, and cards just makes sense. You can see everything laid out visually, and it's so easy to track what's in progress, what's done, and what's still waiting for your attention. And can we talk about that drag and drop? It's weirdly satisfying. Like you just grab a card, move it to a different column, or even to a different board entirely. I don't know why, but it always makes me feel super organized, even if my actual to-do list is a bit of a mess. What's cool is that even though Trello keeps things really simple, there's still a good amount of flexibility. You can add checklists, due dates, attachments, labels, all the little things that help keep your tasks tidy without overcomplicating the setup. And yeah, no storage cap really, just a 10 megabyte per file limit, which is totally fair. 
But here's where Trello kind of surprised me. It actually gives you automation right out of the box, like legit automation. You can set rules so Trello does the repetitive stuff for you, moving cards, sending reminders, all that. For a tool this lightweight, having that built in is a major win. Now, it's not all sunshine. You're stuck with just the Kanban view. So if you want something more like timelines or Gantt charts, Trello might feel a bit limited. Plus, you're capped at 10 users, which is fine for a small team, but something to keep in mind. And look, if you ever think about upgrading to the paid plan, I'll be honest, it's probably not worth it. Trello is fantastic for what it is. Simple, visual, no-nonsense task management. But once your needs grow, you're better off switching to something with more depth rather than investing in Trello and pushing it hard. So yeah, if you're a solopreneur or part of a tiny team and just want something that's clean, visual, and doesn't overwhelm you, Trello's a solid pick. All right, coming in hot at number two, we've got Monday.com. One thing I genuinely love about Monday.com is how quick it is to get started. You sign up, pick a template, and there are like over 200 of them, and boom, you're already halfway into managing your project. No overwhelming dashboards, no fiddly setup, just straight into it. And oh, if you're into vibrant visuals, you're going to just love the way Monday.com looks. Everything's super colorful and clean. Boards, timelines, charts, it all pops, but in a way that actually helps you focus instead of distracting you. It makes managing tasks way more engaging. Almost fun, dare I say? You can layer tasks out in Kanban view, add a bunch of projects, I mean, we're talking up to a thousand, and even collaborate with comments, file sharing, and tagging your teammates right there on the boards. And if you like working in a way that fits your flow, Monday's got you. Their boards are super customizable. Now, there is one little catch. The free plan only supports two users, so if you've got a team of three or more, yeah, someone's sitting out. And another heads up, you won't get automations or integrations on that free plan either. So if connecting other tools or setting up smart workflows is part of your everyday grind, this might feel a bit limited. But, and it's a big but, if all you need right now is a clean, visual tool to stay organized with a small team, Monday.com is a pretty great starting point. And when you're ready to expand, the paid plan starts at $9 per user per month. Not bad at all, especially considering the polish and ease of use. So yeah, if your style is, let's keep it visual, clean, and simple, and you're not managing a huge team just yet, Monday.com might just be your new favorite workspace. And finally, our top-rated free project management software is ClickUp. Now, let's talk about why ClickUp is sitting at the top. First of all, and this is a big deal, there's no user limit. So whether you're a team of two or 200, you're good to go. You don't have to worry about hitting a cap and suddenly needing to pay just to add one more person. All right, now let's talk about one of the biggest reasons why ClickUp stands out. It gives you 11 different views for free. Yes, 11, I'm not kidding. No other free plan from any tool on this list even comes close to that. Most of them cap you at one or three views, maybe five if you're lucky, but ClickUp, they just threw the whole buffet at you. Boards, lists, calendars, Gantt charts, and even mind maps, you name it, they've got it. And honestly, that kind of variety, you usually don't even get that in the paid plans of other tools. On top of that, ClickUp is packed with powerful collaboration features like built-in chat, comments on tasks, shared views, and guest permissions, all included. You won't need to jump between tools just to have a conversation or get feedback. And the customization, next level. Like sure, other tools let you tweak things here and there, but ClickUp lets you really personalize how you manage your work. Beyond the usual task status and due dates, you can add all sorts of custom fields to track whatever matters most to you. It's seriously flexible. Oh, and yes, automation is included in the free version. So if you want a task to automatically move to the next stage or get assigned to someone after it's done, ClickUp handles that for you. But one of my favorite little surprises, ClickUp has an in-app screen recording feature. You can record your screen or even use your webcam to explain a task, give feedback, or just leave a quick update without needing to open another app. It's a total time saver. Now, fair warning, there is a storage cap on the free version, just 100 megabytes. So if your work involves large files, you might hit that limit fast. But if your needs are lighter or you're using it mostly for task management, honestly, you'll be fine. And if you ever need more space or extra features, paid plans start at just $5 per user per month, which is honestly a steal for what you're getting. So if you're looking for something that's crazy flexible, offers the most features, and scales with you as you grow, ClickUp is hands down the best free project management tool out there right now. So there you have it, gang, my top picks for the best free project management tools out there. If you want to try any of these, you can use the links added in the description box below. If I had to pick just one, ClickUp, no doubt. Unlimited users, tons of views, deep customization, and built-in automation, it's the full package. But hey, the others have their perks too. Rike is good for small teams of max five people, Jira for dev squads, Asana for simplicity, Trello for beginners, and Monday.com if you love vibrant visuals. 
All right, with that, I'd like to sign off. If this video helped you out, hit that like button and subscribe. Catch you in the next one.